All right, uh, I thought I would do a video of some of the impact weapons I have. Um, just a little disclaimer. The weapons I'm about to discuss, I don't recommend you carry them with you. Um, I'm not showing anybody how to beat the shit out of somebody with them or hurt anybody with them. It's just, just showing you what I got. Um, I have trained with all these weapons. For about six or seven years now. So if I do know how to use them. Um, I would check with your local laws before you think about carrying anything like this around with you. Um, so this video is not a tutorial on how to hurt somebody. Or, um, or anything like that. It's just I'm just showing you one of my hobbies. Which would be uh, stick fighting pretty much. Um, so the first one we'll talk about is this one right here. It's just a regular wooden baton. This was um this was actually the first baton I ever trained with. And uh, as you can see about about one fourth of the baton splintered a couple months back. But um well, I gotta find somewhere to put this camera. You can actually see me. Um I don't know how well you're going to be able to see me, but, um, I don't know if you can see me or not, but this one right here, um, the good thing about this one is it's got the lanyard, nice, um, you know, people think you're supposed to wrap the lanyard, like, around your hand, or, um, or put your hand through it, like that. That's not the case because if somebody pulled on this, they got your wrist locked up, you know. What you do is you loop your thumb through like this and wrap it around. Just put your thumb through. That way if somebody pulls on this, you can just let it go. You don't want, you don't want them having your hand locked up. And you can do a little trick with it. So, so yeah, this one, uh, this one's pretty thin. This is my, out of all my straight batons, this is my favorite one, um, fits my hand real comfortably, and, um, a lot of, you know, it's good for block, and I, I wouldn't really want to use it now in a fight, because it would probably end up breaking, or it's already splintered. The second one I'll show you is, um, another straight baton, this one's pretty thick, there's, uh, four sections here, I, my camera's real shitty, I don't know if you can see this, but, uh, there's four sections here. Um, this one's a lot thicker in my hand, it's a lot heavier, I don't really like this one, but, um, I bought it when I was up in New Hampshire, it's a, uh, it's a copy of the one that the White Mountains, uh, Park Rangers carry, and on the back here it had the, uh, the White Mountains Park Ranger badge in there, it just said White Mountains, New Hampshire, and it had, you know, like a little engraved picture of the mountains and whatever, but it can be in dropped and used so many times the wood blew ended up popping off and it, the badge fell out, so... I couldn't tell you where the badge is now, but I don't like it. It doesn't have a lanyard. Um, it's pretty heavy, but, you know, it's all right. I wouldn't want to get hit with it. It's real, real thick, real heavy, and that would hardly get broke. Then I have, this is one of the cooler ones that I have. It's a, uh, it's an expandable, um, Monadnock PR-24. And this one, I love this one. This one's, uh. You know, if you do, if you're into, you know, stick fighting and baton training and, what, and whatnot, um, I like this one because you can strike, strike, you know, strike and you can block with it, and so that, that one I thought was pretty cool, you know. A lot of cops carry these. I don't know, you know, if you ever see a cop with something like that going on, you know, it's, a, it's an expandable PI-24. This one's pretty nice. I bought this one online, I believe. I think it officerstore.com, maybe. I'm, I'm not quite sure. I bought this one a long time ago, but I think I paid like 80 bucks for it. Um, it needs some oil, but you can expand by flicking your wrist. And then, for my favorite, which is the uh, ASP, or ASP, however you prefer to say it, 21-inch um, electroless aluminum um, expandable. This one, uh, they call it electroless because um, 
Like a lot of our, um, like policemen who work on the water or Coast Guard, they carry these because um, if it gets wet, it won't rust, which is not the case with other ones, you know. After a while of opening it up, it starts to wear away the paint on here and um, expose the metal. With a regular aluminum baton, this would start to get rusted, um, start to discolor. With the electrolyst, that's not the case. I've had this one for a very long time. It's had the shit beaten out of it. All this is busted up right there. Um, but I, I have no complaints at all. I bought this one for $65. And um, people think, you know, when you, when you take the baton, you gotta crank it open. And that's not the case at all. A light flick of the wrist. There's a lot of play in it right now. But when you swing this thing out, it's not going to close on you. You know, you swing it out, it's not going to do one of these. It's not going to close on you as you swing it. So, I, w I would recommend, you know, just a light flick. That's all you need. Um, these are actually one of the ones that I've, one of the ones that I prefer to use. Um, I love training with the expandables. They're a lot of fun. But, um, so yeah, I'll, I'll probably make another video of uh, just demonstrating some of the, the techniques that I know with those. But like I said, the, I'm not showing you guys anything like that, so you can go out and use it. I'm just showing you some of the knowledge I have and a hobby that I find very interesting and a hobby that I've been involved with for a very long time. Martial arts is a great thing, you know. It keeps you out of trouble, discipline, exercise. Plus, you know, if you're ever in a situation where you need you need to fight, you, you can, you know. I like more submissive moves, you know, I don't really like the whole blasting people in the face and stuff. I just, you know, you take a swing, you bring that arm up, you know, you put them down on their back and you tell them, you know, just enough. You know, there's really no need to start going crazy on people, you just... So I like a lot of submissive stuff, you know, just kind of getting people off of you, restraining them. You know, but that's my preference on fighting. So, um, this was just a short video because I, I, I got some cleaning and stuff to do, but, um... I'll probably make another video today just showing you some techniques and stuff and probably some other stuff I have. I got I got a few knives and stuff like that that I'll show you. So um yeah, thanks for watching and if you have any questions just send me a comment or a message or whatever.